All right, it's go time. What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and we finally have our boxes of darkness ablaze. And we're gonna open up this whole thing. And uh, yeah, we waited quite a while for this. I was expecting it a bit earlier. We picked these up from Dariums, and uh, you know, the shipping, actual shipping, only took a couple days, but compared to when they first got the product in, uh, I guess it took over a week to send it out. So, you know, I feel like that was kind of slow, but you know, this was the, of the vendors I did purchase from, which is uh, at least one other one, uh, the first place to send it. So, and it is a day early from street date. So I guess we can't complain too much. We're gonna see if we can't pull some Crobats or this guy right here. Uh, shout outs to Pokefan on the Discord. He did pull one of them already. So we'll see if we can't match that. Here we go into pack number one. So this box is going to be for ourselves. But we're going to be doing our first break tomorrow during our live stream. Check it out, 7 p.m. EST for our patron, Steve. And if you do want to get in on one of these breaks, uh, just check out the Patreon page down below and find out how to pick these up for the low price of $80 a pop and we'll send you all the hits. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any uncommons or commons that we're going to be looking for, but if there are, we'll definitely, um, you know, just let us know what you want and we'll definitely include those. Uh, I guess we'll we'll take a look through some of the cards. Risk taker for the coin if heads disc discard the top five cards of your opponent if tails. Ooh, interesting. Uh, then Jolt, 160 damage, 30 damage to itself. Doesn't sound too crazy. As far as stuff we're looking for, yeah, the Crobats, the Charizard, obviously. The Eternatus would be cool, but, uh, you know, later in September, we do have that promo box coming out that features V and V Max. So I would say that one's not too high of a priority. The Vickabolt doesn't sound too bad. Um... And yeah, we'll keep an eye out what else we can get. Oh, Scissor V Max. Shout outs to Scissor, aka Blues Clues. We got a card that they're looking for with hard scissors, I believe. Oh, oh wait, maybe it's the V that has like the takeaway and attachment or something. During your point's next turn, the Pokemon takes 30 less damage. Uh, only 90 though. 190 for three energy is not too bad. Uh, but it is V Max, 320 HP. Let's see, I'm just gonna use these for now. Put it in the appropriate sleeves in a little bit. Uh, I do like this art. Very nice hit right there. Put this over here. Alright, hit number one in the bag. So I am kind of nervous starting the Darkness Ablaze openings. Uh, for those who have stuck, us, stuck it out with us through Rebel Clash, man, we did not do very well as, well, as far as finding those bosses. Uh, luckily, the uh, that the toolkit built us out and hooked us up with all the bosses we could ever need. But it's unlikely the same is going to happen with the Crobat. So hopefully we can find them. Sent to Scorch V. This is another list I'm interested in trying. Uh, the VMAX sounds relatively simple. Just put a bunch of fire energies on it and then you're doing a bunch of damage. But for the V, Radiating Heat. You may discard energy from this Pokemon if you do discard energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Hmm. And then Burning Train for 180. You know, it's kind of a lot of energy, but you know, if you can't evolve, that's that's some good damage. If uh, some metal lists are still on top, like ADPZ, maybe the scissors gonna be good. Uh, that'll definitely knock anything out. So we can hit for weakness. All right, so we do got two hits already, and uh, yeah, from our struggles with Rebel Clash, let's just make sure we get a secret rare. <laughs> We don't need two yet. Uh, we won't be greedy. Just give us one. Kabu. We did pull a full art Kabu already. Drop your hand into your deck. Draw four cards. Your active Pokemon is your only Pokemon in play. Draw eight cards instead. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Larvitar. Grimer. A Manectric. Uh, let's see. Strafe. Switch. Pokemon. Flash. Impact. 130. Does 30 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. Okay. And then a muck. What we got? Your opponent's active Pokemon is not peril or poisoned for three instead of one. Sludge roll pull for 120. All right. So I am really pumped for this new set. And yeah, if you do play the online game, uh, check out our live streams. We try to do them at least or like two or three times a week. Ooh, the heat, the new energy. 
uh, plus 20 HP, ah, you know, the horror energy and the speed. Speed is so good, horror is pretty good, heat pretty lackluster. Uh, but yeah, we'll be giving away pack digital packs all throughout our uh, PTCGO streams. And we'll do some on Friday as well. Friday we usually do our breaks. For example, we're doing one for our patron Steve. Uh, I guess I didn't look too much at the card quality for these. We got Rose. Attach up to two basic energy from your discard pile to one of your VMAX. If you attach any card, discard your hand. So, um, yeah, solid ramp at the cost of your hand. Some potential there. I think, like, Eternatus. You know, that's all you need is those two energy. Uh, but then you do lose your hand, obviously. Blaziken. I feel like the Blaziken art, oh, this, this, his, the way he's kicking looks very familiar for like a different art. It's not exact copy, but that stance looks very familiar. As long as this is in play, it is fire and fighting. Interesting. Attach basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Eh. All right, after a while, we'll probably skip the commons. Uh, we'll do at least a couple more. Looking through the whole thing. Old PC, flip two coins of both our heads, put a card for discard pile into your hands. Good luck with that. So let's just see what this thing does. Spire Net, when you're, you replace Pokemon for your hand to evolve, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. Okay, so this is like uh, Lycanroc. So that's pretty cool, and that's a cool attack for Eternatus. Uh, we'll put this in this pile for now. Doug Trio, dig, classic attack. All right, so Eternatus got a couple more weapons there. Don't think this muck is anything. And then a Beer Tick 40 and 150. This Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. Nothing too nice there. All right, so far two hits. I am pretty happy about the Scissor. And actually, and the Scent Scorch. So far, so good. All right, ooh, that's a pretty new Taurus art. That's a pretty cool one. Mr. Mime, Flaffy. I like that art style. And then a Golurk 180 for whopping five energy. All right, I think going forward, we'll just take a look at the un uncommons and obviously the rare slot, Rose Tower. Uh, once you turn, you may draw three cards or basically it's kind of like an Oran Guru instruct once for each player. They, that player may draw cards and select the cards in their hand. Uh, I wonder, like, yeah, I guess if you're using Rose, then you can refill and at least have a chance at doing something on your turn. Bird Keeper, switch your active, blend your bench Pokemon if you do draw three cards. Huh, switch and draw three? That's not bad. We got a Slowbro V, where we have a Rapid Fire Poison. Once during your turn, if this active Pokemon, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. This Pokemon is in the active. Interesting. Okay. Uh, he does appear to have a pretty high retreat cost. You know, so like even like an air balloon wouldn't give him free retreat. Um, but free poison potentially. Assuming you can switch twice during your opponent's next turn. Defending Pokemon can't retreat. Then you can keep him out in the active. Uh, I guess there's some potential there, but I kind of doubt it. All right, let's uh, we'll skip the comments. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. I think we just do the regular Patrick, but uh, keep the first. All right, we'll do it like that. I think. All right, Poopito, oh, small pile. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Choose up to two Pokemon in play for each of those. You can search your deck for a card that evolves and put that on to evolve it. Shuffle your deck. You can't use this. All right, so it's kind of like. Uh, I think the original Pokemon Breeder was kind of like a rare candy, I think. And this is you can choose two, but only evolve it once. Hmm, I bet there's some potential with this card. Purloin and then Ampharos. Confusion and 130, but only two energy. Yeah, stage two. All right, so for our first, uh, first dabbling of Darkness Ablaze, I feel like this is going pretty well. Still didn't hit any of those uh, big cards we're looking, and I didn't do the thing. Spike myth. 
Whenever active Pokemon bench during the turn, put two damage. Hmm, that's cool. Moves to the bench. So I'm glad it's not something like retreat. So uh, here's the Cape of Toughness. Pokemon card attached to this gets except Pokemon GX. So it does include V's plus 50 HP. Sounds pretty good. All right, we'll skip these. And Talon Flame, Scorching Feathers. If this Pokemon is your active spot, is damaged by an attack. Uh, is knocked out, active Pokemon is not burned. Eh. I feel like there's a lot of like this fire mechanic for various things to burn your opponent, but I don't know, I feel like burn was never that strong. And I forgot to do it again, although I do like this card. Skip ahead. Oh, we got something. Shenotic. Flickering light, flip a coin. Uh, def defending Pokemon can't attack. Alright, but it's only defending, so if they switch it on the gate, if you're in the forest, 60. If Grimwood is in play, 60 more. And then Grim Snarl. I saw like darkness. I was hoping it was the Crobat, but we just got Grim Snarl. Bite for 40. And then Spiky Knuckle, 200. Put two uh, energy. Put two dark energy, attach this Pokemon into your hand. Hmm. Guess you could rose him back. No, that's not that's your hand, not even discard. But that's a good amount of damage. Three energy for V. Alright, so halfway through the box, we got four hits. Here's that Grimwood Tangle. Right, accidentally hit space. I think that stopped the recording. Once each, each player flips any coins, they ignore all results and begin flipping coins again. Rowlet, what is this? Uh, if you play Bird Keeper from your hand, this turn ignore all effects. Pokemon. Okay. Then a Greedent. All right, let's get some. Uh, you know some. VMAX stuff, some more texture cards. We only got one so far with that scissor. Ooh, turbo patch. Okay, here we go. Flip a coin if heads attach a basic energy from discard pile to one your Pokemon isn't a GX. Pretty cool card. Uh, flying taxi with Corviknight. So uh, when you use Pokemon from your hand to evolve one your Pokemon during turn, you may put one of your Pokemon except any Corviknight and all attached cards into your hand. Ooh, okay. So when you evolve, put a kind of like just scoop up something from your uh, one of your Pokemon. That could be annoying. It is a stage two though. So it's not without cost. All right, Yellhorn, both types of Pokemon are confused. Earth Serene, Poltergeist, Decidueye, here we go. Uh, yep, can't be damaged by V or GX. I feel like every list needs an answer to this guy. And his damage is not too bad for only two energy, 40 to the bench, and then 90. Oh, wait, this is the rare. Uh, beam Clockwork, if you don't have Clink in your bench, this tech doesn't. All right, a couple more packs for the first half. And uh, we'll probably try to start speeding things up. I would say the first half, four hits, not too bad. Nothing too crazy, though. Simmy Sage, blow, Billowing Smoke, Steeny, and then a Wigglytuff. Alright, so as always guys, if you do enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, a bell for notifications, and uh, that should tell you whenever we go live as well. Again, we do live breaks on Fridays and uh, play PTCGO, at least try to do it Monday and Wednesday. Sometimes it's uh, due to various circumstances, like we want to give two Darkness of Blaze giveaways during the stream, we'll kind of postpone things for a day or two. Here's Pier, search your deck for an energy card and a dark Pokemon, reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck, get Eternatus, Eternatus Max. woo, this is an interesting one, powerful. Uh, as long as attached to a attached to Pokemon, if this is attached to a basic Pokemon, 20 more damage. 
what are the chances this is what Meow V V Max needed to be successful? Unlikely, but I kind of want to give it a shot. All right, we're on to the second half of the box. Still looking for that secret rare. Please do not jip me a secret rare yet again. We got a Charizard V. I do like the art. It looks like he's kind of like in the stadium whenever you do like a gym battle. Ready to go V Max 220 for discard two. Um, it looks like you could use, uh, no, you can't use like a twin obviously as a V, but I guess in expanded, I'm not sure if this card's gonna be good in expanded, but pretty cool looking card. We got the V. Charizard. Now we just need the V Max. Let's take a look at the centering. Ah, it's not perfect left to right. Penny sleeve for you anyway. Put you down here. Right, let's get this box out of the way. All right. So this opening is starting to heat up, but uh, still room for improvement. And for everyone that attends the Twitch streams, so you know what this means. Darkness of Blaze is here. We are resetting the leaderboard. We're starting at a fresh slate for everyone. Shoutouts to Andy for crossing 100 wins for our giveaways. I'm curious how many packs he's won during our live streams. Because whenever you win, um, good almost, maybe like 50% of the time. You know, it is for more than one pack. There's that Eridos again. Familiar Bell, did I look at this yet? Same name as Pokemon discard pile, reveal and put your hand. Search your deck for a Pokemon with the same name as something in your discard pile. Interesting. Hmm. Wonder, I could see that being really useful just to find more Crobats. You know, just get one Crobat in there. Let's see, Rose again. Heatran, I do like that Heatran art. Let's see, Firefang, your bonus Pokemon is now burned, and 80 plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. And Salamence V, Supercross, 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That sounds pretty cool. Heavy Storm for 160. Colorless, uh, I'm not sure. I'm guessing the that power energy doesn't apply to Supercross. It's only for where it says the amount of damage. But if you do know, leave me a comment because I'm curious and trying to make that work. And Salamence is weak to lightning. It's like, yeah, no more fairies for those uh, things for dragons to be weak against. All right, rare fossil, 70 HP fossil, typical fossil, Toxel, and then Star Raptor. Um, all right, six hits so far, only one texture card. So hopefully we can get at least two more hits. And please, please, please give us a secret rare. At this point, we're getting a little nervous. Any secret rare will do. Big Parasol. Uh, attached to this active part, prevent all effects from your opponents done to all your Pokemon. Pretty cool card. Dark Rye, pretty cool Dark Rye art. Vortex of Darkness, 20 more damage for each dark energy attached to this Pokemon. Hmm, Nosk is, uh, mouth is watering. Uh, if this Pokemon has any dark energy, it takes 20 less damage from attacks. Ooh, this card is cool. Definitely put this over here. Wait, then Hippoden is the rare. Flip three coins times 80 land crush for 150. You are you waiting for me? All right, we're gonna take a quick pause after this pack. All right, Future Sight, and then Melodic. Once your turn, heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. That's pretty cool. It's over here. All right, sorry for the quick cut. Had to help our help my girlfriend with something. Here we go. Ooh, our seen. Oh yeah, wait. We, we don't need to find Eternatus right now. We'll just pick them, pick up the promos, and be done with that. 
Oh, actually, the next month we'll be offering a pretty good price for the Eternatus box promos as well. We have the Hiding Energy, Special Dark Energy. What is this? Free Retreat cost, right? All right. A Swana Sky Circus. If you play Bird Keeper from your hand, ignore Energy cost. You can use Feather Slice. If you discard a card from your hand, if you do this, attack does. Hmm. Eh. All right, down to the home stretch. All right, only one texture card so far. No secret rares. Come on, darkness ablaze! Don't do this to me. Rebel Clash was so rough for this turtle. Vibrava into Vicavolt Full Art. Hmm, this is a pretty cool color scheme. I like it. And uh, yeah, this card has some potential to be super annoying. We do have an item lock. Uh, during your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item cards from their hand. Once things rotate out, though, we're going to lose Coco. We're going to lose Thunder Mountain for a short period of time. This thing sounds ridiculous. A lot of annoying potential. All right, so we got hit number seven. Still a good amount of packs. All right, let's make this a great box. Eight plus hits. Secret rare, please. I am pretty stoked about that Charizard. Here's that heat energy. Titar, what does Titar do? Discard at stadium in play, mountain swing. Toss guard to five top cards, Melmetal. Energy Link, uh, add attach an energy card from discard pile to this Pokemon and heavy impact again for 130. All right. Oh, if you guys haven't checked out our latest Pokemart video, um, the screen promos, you're familiar with those? Oh man, those are going crazy. Dracozolt, amping up. During your opponent's next turn, amping up attack does 90 more. You're gonna get impact 200 during your next turn. This Pokemon cannot attack. Uh, just a stage one. Then Darmanitan, Blizzard. This attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Crushing Headbutt. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Crushing Headbutt for 170. All right, let's just find one more hit. And you know what? The, yeah, we only have two texture cards. So I definitely think we're due for one more. And yes, please be a secret rare. Your opponent's bench Pokemon can't be healed. It does not too much healing these days. I suppose that's a tech card that is always available should uh, some healing mechanic become super relevant. Kabu. Toxel into that T-Tar. I do like this T-Tar art. I feel like if they made a full art secret rare version of that, that could look really cool. All right. Box number one will be our first whiff on the secret rare Cape of Toughness. Sounds really good. Oh, nice. We did get our secret rare. We did not get gypped again. And it's Rose. The one that attached two basic energies and then discard your hand. Definitely a lot of potential. And, uh, ooh, that looks amazing. <laughs> I'm so relieved. Uh, guys, Darkness Ablaze will not be a rerun of the pain that was Rebel Clash. And we have Rose to prove it. And we still got four packs remaining. Woo! We did it. <laughs> and we got a Charizard. Can't ask for much more in our first box. Things are looking good. I'm optimistic for this set now. And now we can get uh, get a little potentially overzealous. It's like, all right, let's go for those double secret rare boxes. I think we can say that without jinxing ourselves. Well, that's probably the last thing you want to say. Steeny Ferret, Yellhorn. 
Del Caddy. This art looks familiar. And then a Thievul. Search your deck for up to two cards, put them into your hand. Hmm, is that something good for Eternate? It is a stage one though. All right, two packs remaining. We'll go with the Kaiju Hand. Shout out to Richard Omega. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, guys. Kaiju Hand, sorry. Blame Richard Omega. <laughs> All right, can the Kaiju Hand come through? Spike Myth, Bird Keeper. You know what, I feel like this card's not bad. Just more ways to switch, always a good thing in my opinion. All right, Charizard, VMAX pack, art for the close. And we don't need anything, I'm happy with the results here. Eight hits, a Rainbow Rare supporter with some real potential. We got a potentially useful Vickavolt. And a very nice looking Scizor Galissapod. Oh, I like this art. That looks really cool. Hard time slash attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's V and GX in play. Hmm. Ooh, this this has some potential. You know, imagine like Eternatus. You know, let's assume that there's Eternatus or two. Um, and maybe they have a huge bench because of the ability, some crowbats out there. And that could be hit like a truck. So we'll put that off to the side for a card with some potential. And there you have it. Didn't find the Crobat we're looking for, but we got a beautiful Charizard. And Mr. Rose. And I feel like centering looks pretty good. Great candidate for PSA. And there you guys have it. Darkness of Blaze has begun. Live opening tomorrow stream. Tonight we're going to be giving away some digital packs. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.